<clears throat> hey everyone, how's it going? Waitly here. I thought after getting so many comments on one of my videos that I should do a sequel. So, a lot of you guys have been commenting on my Aver Media Aver Capture uh, tutorial where I show a workaround for it. Since that video came out, however, there have been updates to Open Broadcaster Software Studio and I wanted to show some of the changes they've made and how it works with the Aver Capture HD Live Gamer Portable Lite. So what you're going to want to do is to open up OBS Studio and this is how to this is again how to how to resync the audio. However, a lot of this depends on how powerful your computer is. If you're like me and do not have the best CPU out there, I mean it's it's decent enough, but it leaves a lot to be desired. Then you'll want to go into settings, uh, go down to advanced, and set process priority either to above normal or high, depending on how powerful or, or how how bottlenecking your CPU is. I have mine set to above normal because it's not too bad, but again, that all depends. Because now the audio works perfectly in OBS. However, the video does not. The video can lag a bit. So you'll want to go ahead and do that. If you've watched if you've watched my most recent videos, you'll see that sometimes when I play Fortnite on my Switch, that that happens and you know get audio lag. So what you're going to want to do now is to go to your uh, source that you have the uh, stream engine set to. Go to properties. Make sure it's on the stream engine instead of instead of just the capture thing itself. Uh, hang on. All right, you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom here and make sure that audio output mode is set to output desktop audio wave out. If you put it on direct sound, it will lag. So you're going to want it on wave out. This also fixes the issue of the fluctuating audio frequency, like sometimes it gets higher pitched and lower pitched for random reasons. That doesn't happen anymore. Uh, I would also recommend, I have not tried this yet, but today, later on, I'm going to try using enab try enabling buffering while playing Fortnite and see how that affects it. Everything else should be set to default. I would recommend, unless unless partial is what the default is, then I'd recommend setting it to full. Everything else should be the same. Hit OK when you're done, and then I'm going to just try it out quick here. Turn on my good old Nintendo Switch here. As you can see, the audio is completely fine. All the music is completely in sync. Everything is as it should be. Alright, I'll stop now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So, 
I hope this answered some questions you guys had. And you have to use OBS Studio. If you use OBS Classic, it will not have these options. So use OBS Studio, which if you're not using OBS Studio, you really should be anyway. So thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Of course, I'm using OBS Classic just to record it because I can't record the my monitor and show this show these settings at the same time with Studio. But use Studio, seriously. It's so much better. Take care, continue testing, and best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Bye-bye.